kind of want to talk about multiverses right now. Now, I know season three just dropped. This ain't really too much of a gameplay video. I am going to have like a couple gameplay videos later today, though. But I want to go ahead and talk about something that just been very, very interesting, too. And the reason why I can really talk about this is because my track record, uh, as far as like with making content of the game or talking about the game, is pretty, uh, I'll say, pretty valid. So, um,. Now, here's the thing. Multiverses dropped, what was it, May 27th, 28th? One of those two days. Uh, but Multiverses dropped at the end of May. It returned, um, and it did not have the best launch. It had, like, probably the shittiest launch, actually. <laughs> Let me keep it real. It's not even me talking down the game. But this is, like, this is me being real with chat. Like, if you see my videos, my reaction videos, my streams or whatever, you know how I am. I'm going to talk to y'all and, like, like me. All right? I I'm... I'm not gonna come up here trying to sound all nah 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 nah. Y'all gonna hear how I'm talking, okay? I like to express myself, and if I don't express myself, I feel like I ain't being honest with myself and what I need to talk about. Now, let's get into what I need to get to. Multiverses had a terrible launch, okay? Like, like when we when we had this game, all right? These are the, no no no. I don't want to get into a match. <laughs> we had ranked, which was locked. We didn't even have no ranked, right? We had normal mode, which was just 1v1 and 2v2. We didn't have free for all, at least for a little bit. And we had, you know, training mode, custom game. We had that stuff, right? First off, let's talk about the training mode, right? Let's talk about the training mode. The training mode is, it still has its time to get better, but it has gotten better over time because, man, oh my God, the training mode at the start of this game was so bad. The training mode at the start of this game was so bad. First off, first off, what we have now, we have hit stun combos, we have total damage. Like, we can finally see, you know, what can actually combo into what. Like, boom, uh, 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 uh. We can see that this is actually a true combo. Like, there's certain things when it comes to the game to where we had to see if it was a true combo or not, especially by adding dodge after hit stun and stuff like that to see if like there was a moment in time to where there's a gap where you can dodge, you know, and it was it was a little too much. We didn't know what could do what. Um, setting the damage against the CPU was so linear to where you could only scale it upwards and a whole bunch of other shit, but they made the training in multiverses a lot better. Not as good as beta yet, yet. I, I'll admit, the beta training mode of multiverses is it, still a bit better than this. But from what I heard in the season three uh, little um, open, not opening, but like the into the verse, I think that's what they call it. When they was talking about season three and they were talking about for the further season or the further patches, big patches soon in the future. I think they said they were going to focus more on perks, which I'm going to talk about later. And um, in the training mode to make the training mode a lot more viable for players that want to train against specific conditions you know what i'm saying so i just want to say play first games you guys have been doing amazing they added more training rooms so we now we got training rooms for like you know if it was two to four people whether it's final destination style i'm not gonna say final destination style but at least in that format you get what i'm saying or battlefield style so just depends um on the scenario of course but i just want to say training mode has definitely got a lot better of course it still has some fine tunes to get better but we're gonna get there let's talk about the combat changes of this game right now i can definitely admit right when this game dropped everybody and i mean everybody okay don't try to be that one single guy acting like you wasn't everybody had even i doubt it everybody had the initial thought of like yo this game looks slow and i don't blame y'all i don't blame y'all there's still people who say that this game is like very slow okay here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing right and i keep saying this beta multiverses was fast and i love how fast beta multiverses was but it was too fucking fast. Can we please admit that? Okay, can we please admit that? Don't get me wrong, I was able to play through beta multiverses. I got my videos and shit. I have a track record. I trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I was I was able to play through the beta. But because of how fast beta multiverses was, it just kept feeling more overwhelming and overwhelming to the point to where it didn't feel fun no more at least for me and i know it's felt that way for some people too i'm not gonna speak for everybody but it got to the point to where it did start to feel a bit overwhelming and some people dropped the game after that you know what i'm saying it's not because we didn't like the game no more it just felt like 
because of how the speed was, it just didn't feel right. It just felt like I'm forced to play at this speed. And once people figure out ways to get faster, it's like I'm forced to play. You know what I'm saying? Like it feels forced. It doesn't feel like something that you really want to actively learn. It feels like you got to be forced to do that. You know what I'm saying? Which kind of singularly like singles out a lot of the player base to where it only sets focus on a specific core audience to play the game. At least that's how I feel. With this version of Multiverses, right? Again, when it came back, shitty launch, okay? Gameplay, it felt really sluggish. There were some things that felt pretty off. And within the recent patches that we got, um, combat changes have been better. Uh, low priority over jabs. We got better momentum in the air when it comes to doing like our air attacks. Before, like, let's say we're doing this down air attack with like Batman, like I'll be like moving in slow motion. So it'll be something like this, right? Like, like I'll be slowing down. But now, you know, I can like really move like in, in the air and I got like momentum now. Like I can really do shit. You can like fast fall now uh, when doing an air attack, which, you know, can set up for like actual combos that you can do on the ground. Because let's admit this multiverses before this season was strong ground wise. Like it, it was like a strong grounded game. Aerial, the game wasn't there. It was no strong aerial pressure. It was no strong like aerial movement in my opinion with this game until season three when they added more momentum with certain attacks and adding certain layers to where uh some attacks for some characters in the air could like send the opponent downwards which can lead to like some spikes um which can lead into some new combo setups so like for example batman's battering right it can it sends the opponent downwards so i could do something like uh uh and because of the ground bounce because of the battle ring you know i could do a finisher like his new dash attack which is a double punch that breaks armor so you know stuff like that and it's not even just batman like banana guard right which is a character i did make a video of recently um uh banana guard is like another character too banana guard doesn't really have combos at least i'm still trying to discover but you know you could do some shit like this like you could do some shit like that i actually don't know if i can actually land that last hit I, I don't know if i can but point is you know banana guards nair which was really useless has a bit of use now because it now sends the opponents downwards so because of that because of the ground bounce now you can actually have you have a combo startup you have a combo setup that you can do so that's another thing that makes oh yeah look at that you can combo so <laughs> something like that um down the lines but uh Again, that goes for uh, like every character. They added more setups. They added more ways for each character in this game to pretty much have more combo routes than the usual, probably like jab, jab, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, Beetlejuice got some new loop setups where he could do like jab, jab, uh, 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 like shit like that, bro. Like sometimes, you know, you would have to do like jab, jab, and then you have to do like some type of jump, but no. So that's also another cool thing. You know what I'm saying? A new gameplay mechanic that um, it's been here literally since Multiverses dropped back, but a new gameplay tech mechanic called IAD for those who don't know what that is. I'll probably make a tutorial video of it. Um, basically, it's instant air dodge. So what that means is you're doing an instant air dodge on the ground, right? So. You probably wonder what that means. Basically, have you seen people doing air attack but on the ground like this? Like it, it's different, right? Like you see, like you'll be thinking, like, wait, that's a dodge attack, but you're trying to get your nair out. So I'm gonna have a tutorial video first. I gotta figure out how to do the controller setup to where you know you can like see the controller on the screen because I feel like that would be best to show so that way you can see like how to do the, the, the setup. You know what I'm saying? But basically a new mechanic called iad which is also pretty good especially with the aerial changes which can also help for new combo routes so for like jason i can start off a combo like this well hold on hold on I, if, you, if i could get it please there we go because i got i gotta literally for, at least for jason at very low percentages i gotta land it at like 
the, the very end of the move. But stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So that goes for every character. Every character has different IDs to where they have different types of setups. So, you know, that goes for even some of your favorite characters. You, you probably have Finn players who probably have done shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that just carries. So, again, it's new mechanics that we got to get used to. It's shit like that. It's shit like that. Not a true combo, but you get what I'm saying. You, 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 you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah. With the addition of adding more stuff into multiverses, we had finally got ranked, which came last season along with Samurai Jack and Beetlejuice. So, basically for how ranked works, you have your ranks. You have bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master, and if you're pretty much at the top of the top, you would hit Grandmaster. So think of it as like legend rank. If you play Street Fighter, think of it as like legend. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're within the top 500. I believe in this game, it's like if you're within the top 100. Now, uh, I haven't really played ranked yet. Uh, I last, uh, my last ranked last season was platinum. I didn't get to, I didn't play too much of ranked last season because I don't know. I just didn't. I, I mainly, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's cool to have ranked. But, um, I mean, I just be playing this game. I, just, I, I have a lot of fun playing this game. And I'll play ranked time to time. But I play this game just to get clips for y'all. Like, come on. Have y'all seen the montages I've been giving y'all? I'm trying to give y'all some. I'm trying to show y'all what y'all can do in this game, bro. And I'm going to try to do montages for, like, each character. I feel like it will be cool to do montages for each character. And, you know, y'all can see the potential which each character have. For example, Banana Guard. I'm trying to see what the fuck Banana Guard can do. But we have ranked. And you can see, like, your ranks between 1v1, 2v2 two who's your highest ranked character and even at the end of each season right let's say you peaked up at like diamond five right but you probably finished off the last season at like platinum three well don't worry you're still gonna get your diamond rewards because whatever was your peak rank that was your peak rank so for example let's say you hit diamond five in season three but you ended up a season at platinum four right and you're probably thinking like you're not gonna get your diamond rewards no you're gonna get your diamond rewards because that was your peak rank doesn't matter if you did land it back at gold or whatever the fuck happened you got your reward so i think that's real cool that's kind of like with some games kind of with a lot of ranked games like i know i don't know well i'm pretty sure siege does it like that rocket league you know any other games that have done stuff like that so that's cool and then with rewards um at least what well, i'm guessing for each season it's gonna be like character and um you know like the the, the color scheme of the character when it comes to uh like the yeah, you, you, you see the rewards. <laughs> Can't forget about the skins, all right? Because another thing, too, that I don't think many people really compliment on, but multiverses be having some really good skins. Like, can we please admit that? Multiverses has some really fucking good skins. First off, let's go to this prestige store, right? Let's go to the prestige store. The, the new season, right? The new season gave us... The death metal Batman and this Superman skin, which I'm not really too fond of, but I've been seeing some people who kind of play with it. And honestly, it looks cooler than I thought. You know what I'm saying? You got the Rick and Morty skins. I already got some of the prestige skins, like the Batman who laughs, which, oh my fucking God. When I first seen this shit, I was like, I need this skin. This was literally the first skin I purchased when this game dropped. You got Mech Suit Morty when they were... Whew, and then you got Death Metal Batman, which this skin is really fucking cool, dog. It really is, you know? But it's not even just the Prestige Store that got some of these cool skins. You also got skins like this, and there'll be bundles too, by the way. There'll be a lot of bundles that they have in this game, which I feel like are pretty damn worth it. Look at this. Look at this. This bundle includes having Marvin the Martian with the skin, Aria with the skin, Tom and Jerry with the skin, three characters with the skin, what the fuck, for the price of 2100 Gleemium? That's some good shit right there if I was, like, <laughs> like, what the fuck we talking about? Like, they be having some, like, really good purchases, daily deals to where it's always something in the shop that's on sale that you could get for a little bit off if it was something you currently wanted. Like, look at this, Toonverse Banana Guard, this is probably something I want. I love the Toonverse skins, but yeah i like that's another thing too um we can't say anything bad about multiverses and like the skins like look at this shit bro superman got hella fucking skins do you see this shit bro <laughs> like do you see this shit 
Batman, having a lot of skins too. Pretty good skins. Samurai Batman. What the fuck? Tomb Ver I I'm telling y'all, the Tomb Raider skins are so fucking good. I need to do those. Like, what the fuck? Uh, I feel like these are the Valentine's Day skins. So, yeah, Rick and Morty. You got Rick Prime being a thing now. You got Seal Team Rick. You got fucking Mech Suit Rick. Icon Director. Select Bro, look at this shit. That is fucking drip. That is drip. Morty got that same drip. Like, what we talk about? You got Evil Morty. You got, well, pretty much Evil Morty, but it's President Morty. Then look at this. Like, what we talk about, bro? Like, I, I, nobody can nobody can shit on the skins that Multiverses gives us, all right? Nobody can. Nobody can, all right? Now, I know a lot of y'all probably think, well, damn, Core, you talk about how great this fucking game is. What about how bad, like, the bad points of this game? Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The game has, and I'm, I'm being honest, the game has gotten phenomenally better ever since release. At release, this game was terrible. I will admit that, but I was still playing. You know why? Because I was still having fun, and I was still having faith, and I was still having ways of discovering new shit that would keep me occupied with the game. You know what I'm saying? And after the first mid-season patch, I'm talking about the first, first, first mid-season patch that we had, the Agent Smith patch, with the character changes, with the patch notes, with the stuff like that, and seeing how in detail that they were giving us in these patch notes, the huge patch notes I'm talking about, with different changes to the character stages and stuff like that, I was like, huh, they didn't put this much effort with the patch notes in the beta. This is some quality details and the telling us in ways of how they want the game to be approached, how characters to be approached and stuff like that. And it was really good. The way how they were getting to adjust, even though they're still doing it, but they've been doing pretty well at adjusting certain conditions or certain moves from each character. That may seem a little too broken or maybe too crazy. Um, and they've been making sure to get that scored away just to make sure that the game isn't feeling too broken or annoying or whatever. They've been doing their very best. And I gotta say, to play first games, you guys have been doing a really good job at doing at what you're doing and i appreciate that i feel like my favorite thing that i want to talk about in this video is people who said they were quitting multiverses either quitting multiverses or quitting it competitively or anything like that all right and don't take this as a shot because i feel like this is the internet somebody gonna probably take this as a shot but it's not a shot right um i feel like if you choose to quit the game you choose to quit the game who the fuck am i to tell you not to quit the game or not but i feel like what is weird is if you say you're gonna quit the game because the game is and i'm talking about you talking mad shit about the game like mad shit you can talk about how bad the game is or how bad the game feels to you and shit like that that's cool but i feel like if you're like talking mad shit and sending like hate messages and stuff like that to the developers everything like that and then season three comes back and you know you 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 are you know you're happy with how things are with the game now but you haven't apologized for the shit that you said before it's like okay now that's weird bro like come on now it's okay it's okay to like criticize certain things that just don't sound right don't play right whatever that's okay i love this game but i'm gonna still criticize these points but i don't think it's okay for you to like criticize something but it gets to the point to where you're like you're like being an asshole like you're saying like oh yeah these these like developers are shit or these developers are ass they don't know what the fuck they're doing yeah these niggas ass they should just stop they should just quit and stuff like that because it's like yo 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 i get it all right the game doesn't feel good to you boom 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 the game is feeling pretty shitty and everything like that okay yes but nigga you don't gotta say that oh these motherfuckers ass they should just quit and they're like whoa you do realize these are these people's jobs right and they're trying their best to make sure that we're having fun and that well yeah that we're having fun like don't 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 be an asshole like that if you don't like the game you don't like the game talk about what you don't like about the game boom move on you don't gotta talk bad about people and i've been seeing stuff like that mainly on twitter a little bit on youtube but mainly on twitter because that's pretty much the main social site that we're pretty much all on i'm not calling it fucking x because that shit sounds stupid <laughs> but like it's like come on dog i feel like for, to those people who have been doing that because trust me i've been seeing 
some of y'all who've been doing that and they who jumped back into this season and been liking it can y'all please apologize to the developers i'm talking about to all the developers to the people the team that has been working on this game that's still trying to make this pretty much the best platform fight all right we got new platform fighters coming out of course competition and i would like for you know a friendly competition still be competitive but friendly competition you know because multiverses in my opinion for right now is the besides smash bros besides smash bros but multiverses is my favorite platform fighter to play at the current moment um i've been playing this game a lot and a lot even since release official release i should say so um yeah i'm just basically saying I feel like to those who've been very, and I'm talking about very, very disrespectful, like really disrespectful, like being very hateful, I feel like I should, and to, and those same people who've been coming back and has been liking the game, I hope y'all apologize to developers and if you haven't, can you please apologize? Cause trust me, they've been working with this shit day in and day out, I promise y'all. And again, game is not perfect. The game isn't so super polished to where it's the best. It's not. Because if it was, then their job would be fucking done. And we wouldn't have nothing else. And that would be it. That's why they're taking their time. Each season, each patch to make the game better. To make new additions to the game. To make the game better. To make the game feel better. To be talked about more. And have more interactions to the community. Even to people who probably play outside of fighting games. To play the game even casually. I'm not even gonna lie. I have fun with multiverses a lot more casually than competitively. Nothing wrong playing competitively, but it's been a while since I had fun playing a video game casually, bro. I can just chill, play the game, and not have to worry about too much. And that feels so good. I feel like that's what a lot of video games are lacking too. You know what I'm saying? Still got its ways to go, but it's cool. It's cool. But other than that, that's pretty much me talking about multiverses at its current state. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, I greatly appreciate it. What are you guys thinking about multiverses? Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, I'm out of here.